Come on in for a second. Let's have a conversation. I got to ask you guys a question. And ask your opinion. At the same time. What are the chances truly? Now, be honest with yourself. Don't, don't stay in fantasy land. What are the chances of Daniel Jacobs knocking out Canelo Alvarez? What do you think those are? Okay. Now, Canelo Alvarez definitely moves better than a Triple G. You know, Triple G is kind of stationary right there in front of you. So, if Danny Jacobs was going to claim a knockout, I would take it you would have seen one with Triple G, being that Canelo's defense is way better than Triple G, and Triple G doesn't have any head movement. So, what are the chances of Daniel Jacobs actually knocking him out? The reason why I ask because, you know, I have conversations with people all the time, especially once a month, Joe. And we got on this thing where there's this theory that people are asking, is Danny Jacobs selling his belt? The reason why we say this is because nobody, including myself, sees Daniel Jacobs winning a decision over Canelo Alvarez. And that's just from a politics standpoint. That's the only way I'm looking at it. Cash cow, money king, you know, follow the leader type of thing. You know, and I think it's easy for everybody to see and agree with that. He's not winning no decision over Canelo Alvarez, especially with the money that they invested in him or whatever. So the only way he can walk away with a true victory is a knockout. So I ask you, what are the chances, truthfully, of Daniel Jacobs knocking out Canelo Alvarez? Because as you know, there is a hydration clause, you know, in the contract, you know, which weighs heavy and which affects primarily Daniel Jacobs. You know, and also what was brought up because we was watching uh, somebody's video at work. I can't remember right now, but also what was brought up is the drug testing and how there's going to be no extensive drug testing. And, you know, like I said to everybody all the time, all these boxers and athletes are on some kind of performance enhancing drugs, you know, evidence points to it, you know, all of them, man, every last one of them, you know, let's just be real, you know, but it raises the question and I see why Daniel Jacobs said he can't stop Canelo Alvarez because without him saying a statement like that, I'm sorry. And especially with the WBC. You are not winning no decision. You know, see, I learned from. Watching fights, I learned from what happens to Tyson Fury. I learned from a politic standpoint of who's the money man and how things go. And I understand when you're the cash cow, a lot of things are overlooked. A lot of things are forgetting and you get slaps on the hand. So this has to be known with Team Jacobs. Has to be. So the question is, and the question I got to ask you guys, is Daniel Jacobs selling his belt? That's what I want to know. This isn't something that, you know, uh, my strong opinion, you know. Um, I'm asking you guys, what do you think? Because honestly, if Daniel Jacobs doesn't get a knockout, which, I mean, I like Daniel Jacobs. I like the Miracle Man. I think he has skill. And I think he's a better fighter than what even he knows. I don't see him knocking out Canelo Alvarez. Does he have the potential to? Yes, he does. But is he actually going to do it? No, because if he ain't do it with Triple G, I really don't see him doing it with somebody mobile and hostile like uh, Canelo Alvarez. So, is Daniel Jacobs selling his belt? Is what I want to know. Put some thought to it before you actually get in the comment section and write your comment. 
Actually think about it. Just sit back and ponder on it. Do you see Daniel Jacobs knocking out Canelo Alvarez? Do you see this fight going to decision? And if it is going to decision, do you honestly think they're going to side against Canelo? You know, people already think that Daniel Jacobs won a Triple G fight. Including myself. You know? But that's neither here nor there. But the point is, unless he is going to knock Canelo Alvarez clean the fuck out. If the fight goes to the decision, <laughs> I don't see it. You know, I, I do not see it. Strategically, politic wise, it's almost impossible. You know, it's almost virtually impossible. And, you know, with the hydration clause and, you know, no extensive drug testing and <laughs> it, it was an interesting question that was brought up to me. And I seriously had to think about it. And I just want to put it on you guys' mind just like it's on mine. You know, I seriously have to think about it. And I'm like, I'm wondering if that if that is what Jacobs is doing. Because if not, he should be going into this fight knowing he needs a knockout. His team should let him know, look, you need a knockout. There is no going to the judges for you. You know, is it an interesting fight? Yes. Does he have the reach on Canelo? Yes. You know, is he fast as Canelo or just as faster? Yes. Daniel Jacobs have all of these things. But to me, Daniel Jacobs also has a stall button. You know, he stalled a few times in that Triple G fight. You know, I believe if he pushed just a little bit harder, you know, he could have clearly walked away with it. Clearly. But I have to be honest with you guys. Yes, I do favor Canelo, meaning I like Canelo as a fighter a little bit better than Daniel Jacobs. That's because I think Canelo is an underrated fighter. I really do. I think people underestimate Canelo's boxing skills, which I don't understand. I don't understand why people don't think Canelo Alvarez boxes. He does. Canelo Alvarez can box. He can. He uses ring IQ. Canelo Alvarez is a vet at this point. You know, and I just think he has more ring savvy than Daniel Jacobs. That's just me. That's just my opinion. I know some people going to be like, oh, what the fuck you talking about? Now? And, you know, I think Canelo Alvarez is more ring savvy. I truly do. I, I truly do. And in the, in, in the Canelo Alvarez Triple G fight too, he showed me that he can go to that dark place. He showed me. I'm not saying that Daniel can't go there. I don't think he can swim long in that water. Like I said, that's my opinion, you know, but it was interesting. Little conversation that I had. And, you know, I wanted to have this conversation with my subscribers and find out what you think. Do you guys think Daniel Jacobs is selling his belt? Do you think he's going to end this fight knowing that if it goes to a decision, he's going to lose? Do you think Daniel Jacobs is going here with the attitude? I need a knockout. If not, then he is selling that belt. Anyways, that's just something on my mind. I didn't want to spend too much time on it. I'm more interested in to seeing what other people have to say about it. Just a theory I'm throwing around and tossing around up in the air. Anyways, leave your thoughts in the comment section, you know, and I'll come back in an hour or two and chop it up with you guys and see what you guys think. Bruce Van, I'm out.